A lot of energy on yeah. the stage. I mean, we have we've never been here. We're very excited, and so a lot of times when we come uh, to a place for the first time, we feel like we have to prove ourselves. So it's almost like we're brand new. We're not sure if anybody loves us, if we have to make them love us. We yeah, make them we don't use it. We don't hold anything back. We'll be singing all the big songs that we know, and all the songs will really come to life. Every time I hear the song, I always think, "Wow, this song has gone so far, and it started, you know, just." me, Tina, and Warren in a garage writing a song and we had no idea that it would go this far. But I'm, I'm, when I pay attention to the lyrics, it touches me in a different way depending on where I am in life. Like when you sing, you know, everything that could go wrong all went wrong at one time or, you know, just the song is so liberating, it's so uplifting and I know it is that for other people but, you know, I really hope that people understand it's the same one for us. Yeah. If the music doesn't work for us, it's not worth singing. Right. I mean, especially when you sing gospel music, we are mm -hmm. supposed to inspire it. So if we are not first inspired by our music, mm -hmm. what's the point? Right. And when you really believe in it, that's what you can convey to the people that's mm -hmm. listening to it. We really do use our music as our medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when life is throwing you a hardball, yeah. like, let me put some Mary Mary on and see if this actually works. <laughs> does this work? <laughs> yeah, and fortunately, we've been able to find out that the music does work. It encourages, it uplifts us, it inspires us, yeah. and and so we hope that that's what happened when people experience that song. That's, we, we enjoy singing Shackles like, really like it's do. the first time every time really we do. sing it. We don't, we're not the artist that, I'm tired of that song, you know, I got other songs, listen to that, like, I'm grateful that you like me for what any song. Right. Like, I, sure, I'll sing it again, <laughs> you know? And, and what would what would you say is uh, what gets you out of bed every morning? Um, <laughs> what gets me out of bed is the fact that I woke up. Sometimes, you know, there is no rhyme or reason. I'm just, I think, you know, the fact that I have life each day, that, that, that I'm not in a hospital, that I can breathe, that I can step out on my own two feet. Um, you've got to find inspiration in that, even when sometimes life is not so inspirational. And as it relates to the music that we sing, this music, breathe breathes life into me when I don't feel alive at all. came out publicly and spoke about, you know, issues that, that you were having in your marriage and in your family and, and things that had come up and, um, you know, that was so courageous and so bold and so beautiful of you to do and I know that you also appealed to your fans to be praying for you during that time. Um, you know, a lot of people could have said, you know, you, did, you don't need to go public about it. You don't need to tell anybody about these things, but you did, and you chose to do that and be open and upfront about it. What was it that was that needing you and that wanting you to do that when you, you know that you didn't have to? You know, I'm clueless. I, I don't really know because after I had done it, I wished that I could have retracted it because things got worse before they got better. And sometimes I have good days, and sometimes I have days where I really struggle. Um, but I do know this, when, when I see somebody being helped by something in my life, it lifts me. What do you see as being the, the major focus of your music, of the songs, of your albums? Well, initially it's to point people to God, um, people who don't know, people who don't, didn't grow up in church. Um, it is to serve as a source of inspiration. But for the believer, I think there's there's messages in the music that would allow us to um, live even a better life in Christ. Um, because a lot of times we get stuck in a mode, we go to church, we do this, we do ABC, and that's it. We never step outside of the box. We never think, what if God wants me to do something totally different? All right. Oh my goodness, okay, you have to tell me all about this. I need to know all <laughs> about it. And I believe, uh, Tina, that you wrote some of the songs yes. on this. What is happening? What's happening back in the States? Tell me everything. This is um, my new solo song. I am coming out with solo music. Um, the first song is called A Little More Jesus. And I wrote it with my sister, my husband Warren, and it is going very, very well. Um, in the midst of doing all the Mary Mary stuff, I'm very, very ambitious. <laughs> As if I wasn't tired enough, I've added more music and additional uh, stuff to do. Awesome, you know, to have stood by my sister for so many years, um, which will never stop, but to do something different, to stand out on my own, it's exciting, it's new, and I think the reason I can do it with such ease is because I know I have her full support. 
absolute honor for me to have sat here and for you to have shared with me and inspired me as you have. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you so much. And if you, I know our listeners at home can't see these beautiful ladies, but they are the most fashion savvy, <laughs> diva, beautiful girls thank I've ever you. seen. And uh, I know that you're going to enjoy the, the shopping in Melbourne. So thank you so, from everyone at 89.9 Light FM. Thank you so much. You're, you're very, very welcome. welcome. Thank all of y'all for requesting our music regularly and call in now and request it again. <laughs> <laughs>